let us understand the effect of sample pulse duty cycle with respect to the time division multiplexing. In our first video of sampling and reconstruction when we understood the sampling, we have seen that the importance of duty cycle is that more the duty cycle of sampling pulse, the area under the curve will be more, so power content will be more. So when power content will be more, so the amplitude of reconstructed waveform will also be more. But now let us see that how this sample pulse duty cycle plays an important role in time division multiplexing. Definitely, it is useful for getting more amplitude of the reconstructed waveform. But another thing which we would like to learn is that if the duty cycle is less, I can multiplex more number of channels. Between two samples, I will be having enough space to insert another sample from another channel. But if duty cycle is more, then there will not be space to introduce another channel into time division multiplexing system. So let us look this in this way. This is channel 1 sample. So this is the uh, channel 1 sample. This is channel 2 samples. Say for example, say this is my channel 1 sample. Channel 1 sample. This is channel 2 this is channel 3 and this is channel 4 and I am getting the multiplex signal here so let us I am just putting it to the 20 microseconds so this is channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4 so this way I am getting the samples and the sample pulse duty cycle right now I kept it at 10% so now there is a gap between this channel 1 and channel 2 so I can insert another channel, channel 5, channel 6, channel 7 we can insert into this gap there is a gap between these two samples from channel 2 and channel 3 so I can this space is available this time slot is available to add another samples from another channel so I can increase more number of channels in time division multiplexing system but now if I increase this duty cycle if I increase this by 20 percent now you can see that the time slot between this channel 1 and channel 2 channel 2 is been reduced so now there is a possibility that i can insert still another channel but yes not as which i can i could have used with uh, 10 percent duty cycle let's go to 30 percent if i go to 30 percent let's go to the 40 percent let's go to the 50 percent still channel 1 2 3 4 still there is a space between channel 1 and channel 2 sample so i can insert another uh, channel between these two but if I go further 60 percent 70 percent 80 percent 90 percent no there is no gap between channel 1 samples and channel 2 channel 2 and channel 3 channel 3 and channel 4 so I cannot insert the fifth channel or sixth channel between these two because the sample pulse duty cycle is more definitely the signal which will be reconstructed at the receiver will be having more amplitude compared to what I did at 10% but yes I cannot insert more number of channels so this is how the sample pulse duty cycle plays a role into time division multiplexing and we have to select or there is a trade off we have to select either we should compromise on the reconstructed waveform amplitude or we should compromise on more number of channels to be multiplexed but sample pulse duty cycle plays a very important role in time division multiplexing in this sense.